Am I the asshole for locking any food I make in my room away from my family? I, 19M. Live with my parents and three brothers, 25, 22, 17. And yeah I pay rent, pay my half of the utilities and buy my own stuff. My parents were pretty big on that if we wanted to keep living there that we have to pay for everything ourselves and help out with bills. With lockdown last year and being stuck at home I started getting into cooking more and learning how to make new dishes. I bought some cookbooks for beginners and watched YouTube videos. It become like a hobby for me to cook new stuff. Also baking sometimes. My family just orders takeout so no one really cooks. My dad started making fun of me being the lady of the house because even my mom don't cook. Then my brothers started to tease sometimes too. IDK why it was such a big deal. They got me a pink apron as a joke gift once. I work full time so sometimes I don't got the energy to make a whole ass dinner when I get home from work so I started cooking weekends and making sure I got enough leftovers for the week. Guess who started eating whatever leftovers I left in the fridge? My dad. Sometimes my brothers but mainly my dad because I'd get home and he'd be there eating. It didn't bother in the beginning but what did is that he still made jokes about me being a sissy. Yet still eating the food his, sissy, son makes. I've told him he's a hypocrite for doing this but doesn't see it as anything because it's food for the family according to him. Last week I made lemon garlic butter chicken thighs with green beans and I was craving it like crazy at work. When I got home it was gone. So that really got to me and on the weekend I bought myself a mini fridge with a lock to put in my room and that's where I'm putting whatever dinner I make. Now my dad is getting all pissed for overreacting to his jokes and being stingy with my food. I already told them I don't like the jokes they make and that they still think it's fine to eat my food. Like I'm fine with making some for them but not if they keep calling me stuff for it. That's why I'd rather just keep it from them. They're still telling me I'm being too dramatic and my mom agrees since they're only playing around with me. So now I don't know. Was it too much that I'm locking my food away in my room and not wanting them to have any? Edit. Love that so many of you want to make that recipe now lol. Link is in one of my comments if y'all want to try it out. For those who make it, let me know if you liked it. Not the asshole your dad is a classic bully. He purposely makes you angry, then tries to make it seem like you're wrong for being angry. Once you told him you don't like his jokes, he should have stopped making them at your expense. Not the asshole. At this point, you're paying to live there, so as far as I'm concerned they're your roommates. Would you let your roommates eat your personal food that you paid for and worked hard to make? Your family doesn't have good roommate etiquette. Not the asshole. I just. I can't even think of anything else to say. Your family is just a plateful of ripe assholes. Not the asshole. Your dad is a misogynistic bully. It's shitty he's treating you like this, and shitty he treats being female or items related to femaleness as an insult. I don't get what you gain from living at home? Doesn't sound like you're saving money. I'd look into moving. You're buying your own food, you're cooking it, your dad is being awful, and you want to eat the food yourself. If your dad wants to eat all that delicious sounding food you're making, he should at least stop calling you a sissy and realize there's nothing bad about having a life skill especially a life skill he's enjoying so much. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You buy your own food, you have no obligation to share. Not the asshole and now I want lemon garlic butter yum. Not the asshole. They're making you pay rent and buy your own food. You should offer to sell them some meals. Cooking is a marketable skill. Not the asshole if you have to pay rent, bills and buy your own food then they shouldn't just take what is yours to begin with. A joke isn't funny as the person who is on the receiving end doesn't find it funny. And you're right it's hypocritical to make fun of you yet still take advantage. Not the asshole if your family keeps bitching that you put the food in your locked fridge. Tell them that you're just protecting them from turning into sissies from eating your sissy food, it might be contagious. It's pretty fucking toxic to consider the ability to make oneself a meal that isn't takeout to be a women's only activity. Not the asshole. Your dad is mad because he's being called out on his shitty behavior and no longer able to take advantage of you. That's not a you problem. Further, jokes are only funny if the person making them and the person hearing them believe them to be funny. What your family is doing is bullying. Nothing funny about that. Might I suggest asking him to pay his share of the groceries since you're paying for rent and utilities? Not the asshole at all. They're still telling me I'm being too dramatic and my mom agrees since they're only playing around with me. I'm just playing around with them too. I don't really mean to lock my food away from them. I just keep doing it despite 100% knowing they don't like it. Not the asshole. Your dad is being a bully. 
Also, has he never heard of Gordon Ramsay, Jamie Oliver, Alton Brown, Bobby Flay, Wolfgang Puck, or Guy Fieri? Hell, even Snoop Dogg you should check out his cookbook, From Crook to Cook. Not the asshole. Your parents shouldn't have procreated if they think that cooking isn't a life skill that their children would need. You're a responsible adult, taking care of your health and expanding your hobbies. The ability to cook isn't a sissy trait. And I don't think it's wrong or petty to hide your food. There are few things worse than working all day, craving something at home, only to find it gone when you arrive. Also, I'd be very gracious for that lemon garlic butter chicken recipe. Thanks in advance. Just reading the title I would have said yes. But forget that. NTA. Lock up your food. Cooking isn't lady work. They want to tease you and then enjoy your food. Screw M. Cook just for you then. Not the asshole but question. With six people in the house, why are you paying half of the ulatides? Above the food thing, that's sketchy AF. Not the asshole. Your family sucks though. Not the asshole. Your family sucks. Teaching both my 10-year-old girl and 8-year-old boy to cook. Little guy can do scrambled eggs, beans on toast and chocolate biscuit cake. Older child can do a little more. Befuddles me that some parents are proud of the fact their kids lack this life skill. I'd be so embarrassed sending my kids out in the world unable to care for themselves. Not the asshole. During all of this they can't apologize or even try to lay off the insults while trying to eat your food. Fewick that shit. Not the asshole. And you're not sissy. It's stupid to assuming that cooking and enjoying to cook is a feminine thing. Plenty of girls love guys who can cook. Go you. Not the asshole. Your dad is right though. Cooking is sissy stuff. I often wonder how Gordon Ramsay, with his successful chain of worldwide restaurants, several TV shows, net worth in the millions, can sleep in his big expensive house at night knowing he's doing sissy work. Note the dripping sarcasm. NTA, if you're paying rent to live with these twats why not pay rent for your own place? Not the asshole toxic masculinity at its finest. Not the asshole. They're bullying you, calling you names, and expecting that you'll still share the meals you cook with them? No way, and good on you for locking it away. I'd be pissed if I came home from work and my leftovers were gone, eaten by people who don't contribute to my efforts, since you say they all get take away and don't cook. I'd be even more unhappy if they used my efforts against me in an effort to disparage me. My partner is a professional chef. There is nothing, sissy, about a man cooking. Trust me, op, future partners of yours will love it. Not the asshole. Tell your dad he needs to pay for his own food. Not mooch off of yours since he put in the rule you pay for your food. Offer to teach him and your brothers how to cook. Dot. As someone else probably several people. Said a man who cooks is more of a catch than one who doesn't. I managed to woo my wife in part because I learned how to cook when I was 16 and fixed her meals when we were dating. Good on you hands clapping. Enjoy your food. Not the asshole. It shouldn't matter to them. A container that's was in the fridge is now not there. It literally doesn't impact them other than dad doesn't get to steal your food. They didn't care when you told them to stop, so maybe you shouldn't care when they tell you you're being dramatic. Not the asshole and next time he makes a snide comment, ask who the most world-renowned chefs are, because it's mostly all men. So Gordon Ramsay is a pussy because he's a master chef, so in other words, a man who cooks. Tell him to take his sexist ideals and shove them where the sun don't shine and continue locking up your leftovers. He's just jealous because he doesn't get fresh home-cooked meals like you make. Not the asshole. Your family is low-level toxic. Not the asshole. It's hilarious that a man will call his son a sissy for making food, but for years, the majority of famous chefs were men. Tell him to turn on the Food Channel and call Bobby Flay, Emeril, Gordon Ramsay, etc., sissies. They cook. It's a profession. It's apparently only sissy when his son does it. P.S. Your dad's a jerk. Not the asshole. Basically your dad likes eating your leftovers but makes fun of you for cooking. A lot of the great chefs of the world are men. Food is a serious business. People who call you a sissy don't get to benefit from your work and your money. Keep that fridge and keep it locked. Maybe you can share if you get a real apology and dad buys the ingredients. There is always takeout. Not the asshole oh my god they're the hugest hypocrites. H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A a man? That cooks? G-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-
Not the asshole. No one is playing around with you when they steal your food. Your father is a classic bully that uses nasty jokes to get his way. Keep locking your food up. I wouldn't be surprised if you are healthier than the rest of the family since they live on takeout. Not the asshole. Your family is really toxic though. Personally I'd move out ASAP since your dad especially can't grow up and treat you with any level of respect. Great way to get back at them is only cook with Carolina Reapers and leave it in the main fridge for them. They'll start avoiding everything you cook like the plague. Everybody say it with me. Toxic masculinity hurts everyone. Not the asshole. Definitely not the asshole it's your food. You worked hard and you made it. Your family was even rude about it so they definitely don't deserve to eat what you make without your permission. Not the asshole people who constantly insult their family, friends and then try to downplay it like, it's just a joke, you need to lighten up, are honestly the worst. Funny how you're expected to pay all your own bills but they see nothing wrong with freeloading when it comes to eating your food. Also funny your food is a constant source of picking on you, but somehow still good enough for them to eat without asking face with rolling eyes. Not the asshole and jokes are supposed to be funny. They're joking around isn't funny and it makes you feel hurt. If my family complains about the food I make, they simply won't get some. If my family insulted me like that, they'd never get another bite of my cooking again. It's clearly bothering them that they don't have access to your new skill anymore or else they wouldn't try to call you out on it. It seems they're going to continue to call you names no matter what you do. Enjoy your new fridge and all the leftovers you want to make. If it was playing you'd be having fun too. Not the asshole they need to get over their weird gender ideas and just let people have their hobbies and their delicious meals. Like. What year is this? 1950. Dot. Also how are you gonna eat somebody's food they made and act like they're overreacting for getting mad? If they made it and didn't serve it up for you or say, feel free, then it's not for you. That's just basic courtesy, what the heck. Come in halfway through their dinner and snatch up all the takeout and say it's, family food, they bought for everyone and, well, you're hungry. Don't actually do this. Or maybe do. IDK your life. Keep doing you and cooking up good stuff. Since you pay your way, time to move on and find better roommates. It seems like you can take care of yourself, so time to move out. Not the asshole. Literally biting the hand that feeds. Not the asshole. Your family sucks, ignore them. You are on your way to a tastier, healthier, more fulfilling life in which you even save money by not having to eat out. You are building a skill which makes you a more attractive partner while also expanding your mind with learning. Don't stop. Don't change. And definitely don't share. They don't deserve it. NTA at all. I'm so sorry you are being bullied in your own home. Obviously you are not the asshole. Not the asshole. But maybe it's time to be an asshole back. Make sure you eat your food in front of your dad, while commenting on how delicious your sissy food is. Not the asshole. Your dad treats you like a roommate when it's convenient for him and like family when he wants to overstep the boundaries of being a roommate, like eating the food you buy. If you are paying your rent and bills, they aren't entitled to the food you buy and prepare in the first place. Doubly so if they can't respect your new skills. Honestly, I would consider looking for some non-family roommates and move out. You can probably find similar living accommodations with far less bullshit to put up with. But in the meantime, keep your food locked up and let your dad sulk. Your dad is just a bully who's upset that he's not getting away with insulting you. Not the asshole. Women belong in the kitchen. Men belong in the kitchen. Everyone belongs in the kitchen. Kitchen has food. If a t-shirt can get it, your dad can too. Not the asshole. Your family is a pack of idiots. I know it is easier said than done, but you are paying a bunch of the expenses, so move when you can. Gordon Ramsay is surely as manly as it gets and he's a chef. Your dad sounds like a bully to me. Why are you paying half the utility bills when clearly at least five other people live there?